So here's what I originally thought was going to happen in the market, which I now admit I have been proven wrong. So we're just taking a look at the short term chart of the uh, Dow Jones. So I'm here on a six month chart now. I'll actually go to the one year and still making peppers. So here's what I thought in the very beginning, and this is what I was talking about since about last August. I was saying, okay, so I'm going to guess that this area right here was the major market bottom of an essentially 10 year long bear market, secular bear market. And I was saying, now we are in a bull market. And in a long term bull market, there are five up waves, and then we get three corrective down waves, then three down waves. So I was looking for five waves. And I was saying, okay, so if we have five waves, we could say, we and each one of these little waves that I'm counting has five waves each. So like, if we take a look at this one, uh, hello. If we take a look at this one, you see obviously one, two, three, four, five, and they're all pretty proportional to each other. So pretty easy things to see. So I was saying, Okay, so if this is the first wave, this corrective movement here is the second, this is the third wave, and then this is the corrective movement of the next one, and then this is the final wave, that means that after the market hits the end of this wave, it'll be a bear market, and it'll bring the market to about, I, I think I was saying, either 9300 or 11,000. So that was at the time when I was saying that we were in a long-term bull market. And I was saying that <coughs> we're looking for price targets of, actually, where did I first do this? Okay, I said that that was one, and I said, okay, so you see that the first wave is a 1.618 exact proportion of the third wave, which that happens very often, or very close to it. So then I was saying, okay, just by default, that means that the next wave should be roughly the same. So I draw it from the very bottom of here to the top of here, and look, it gives us a price target of 13,328. So where's the actual high? The actual high was 13, wow. Uh, I wanna see if this is actually right. Is that the low? That's the low. Okay, it was actually 13,344. And the actual high was 13,328. So that being said, I was going to say, okay, so now we're going to be in a bear market. Now this is what threw me on a curve, on a, with a curveball. Notice that this movement right here, from the very bottom up to here, it should not be three waves. It should be five. But if I look at it, if you just look at it from this view, it looks like, okay, one up, two down, and then I can't even see on the weekly chart where the next correction would be. So like you could maybe say one up, two down, and then all the way up here, and then th that's the end of three, then four down, and then five up? You can maybe say that, but like if you look at the proportions, you're saying, okay, so the first correction was 1,000 points. That was wave two. Then the second correction was 500 points. It's not proportional. So that's what was bugging me. So then I was saying, okay, so we're going to call for up to here, it's wave one. From the bottom to here, that was wave one. And this was two. And I was saying, okay, one of the main tenets of Elliott Wave uh, theory is that you can't have any corrective movement, wave four, uh, go into the area of wave four, uh, I mean wave one. And I was saying, okay, so this is obviously not working here, so maybe this is wave four. But then it crossed into it, which violated it, which means that we topped out. So the fact now that I'm seeing that this is a three-wave up movement, that almost makes me say that this is not bull market behavior. It is, in fact, bear market behavior. And that means that this entire move was only one, two, three, and the actual bear market started here. So the bear market hit here, and then this was all corrective since it was only three waves. And that means that after, that's, after that happens, 
we're going to have a larger movement that was going to bring us down to a much lower level. And I showed you in the first video that the target with that would be around 9,500 on the Dow. So that is my train of thought from about August of last year up until, honestly, last Friday. All right. So make sure to check out the other videos, and I'd watch them in order if I were you. I don't think that uh, the last scenario where I say that the S&P is going to go to zero, I don't think it's going to happen. But thanks for watching.